Okay, Pat, you know, watching your medical evacuation on Survivor last night was so emotional for viewers, but what was it like watching it for you and your family? Um, it, it was, it, it was emotional. Um, you know, um, not be not having any memory of, you know, the whole incident, uh, for myself, um, you know, from no, no recollection from the time the accident happened. until so when I woke up in a helicopter landing at a hospital in Suva, um, yeah, it was definitely very emotional. Um, yeah, I, it, it, it was tough to watch, um, but at the same time, it, it, it kind of filled in a few of the gaps that I had. Well, I didn't realize that you, you kind of blacked out, so so watching it back, you really got to experience it for the first time almost. Uh, yeah, so pretty much. Um, what you guys, what everybody's seen last night is, you know, pretty much all I have to go off of, even for myself. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, seeing it all play out, you know, on the beach um, with Jeff and all the doctors and all my tribe mates, uh, it was definitely very, very emotional. And how are you feeling today? Uh, and how many months later is, is today from the moment that happened? Um, it happened, I believe, on the 3rd of April. Um, and here we are now, you know, latter stages of September. Um, I'm good. My health is good. My back um, is is good. You know, through the rehab and through physical therapy, um, yeah, I'm back to 100%. Got all my clearances from the doctors and everything, and no surgeries needed. So that's that's a plus. So um, yeah, hopefully, you know, uh, we get to go and uh, embark on the adventure again, and uh, see how see if we can get a, a different turnout. And uh, ultimately, hmm. hopefully, be standing there with a check for a million dollars. <laughs> and all, all of your tribe members came running over. They were crying over you. They were saying that you loved you, that they loved you. That must have been a really, really cool moment to watch. It, it, it truly was, you know, um, considering we only known each other, you know, for four days at the most. Um, you know, but during during that four days, you know, we were we were close because with the weather and the and the climate and everything, we were huddled up in our shelter for um, for the vast majority of the time that that we were there. So, you know, our our relationships became real close real quick. And I, I know you you said your motto is don't judge a book by its cover, and that's really important because at the end of the episode, Gabby was saying. Oh, I thought Pat was going to be this bossy jerk guy from New York, but then she got to know you and said she she admitted she couldn't be more wrong. So it, it, your your motto there kind of came back around at the end. It was a really cool moment. Yeah, well, you know that's the thing. You know, I'm I'm a big guy, and I'm, I'm obviously I'm pretty well tattooed. So and uh, um, people have a stigma that you know I'm this rough, you know, probably arrogant rude um guy and it's not the case and you know i'm, I'm a big teddy bear um uh, i just like to have artwork on my body and I, I i show my i show my i show my who i am through that and um mm -hmm. a lot of times people take misconceive it as something that it's not so you know that's what i say i said don't judge a book by its cover you know read, read the opening pages of the book and um and make your assessments from there so what do you think would have happened if you guys all went to tribal council? Who do you think would have been the first person voted out? Well, from what I gathered, you know, with, you know, with the core people that I had, you know, it was, I, I had a solid five. Um, and we were going to hope to bring in the nerds, which would be Gabby and Christian. Um, it was myself, Jess, Larissa, um, Davey, and Carl. So we had a, we had a, we had a solid five. And uh, we needed two more to have the numbers. And uh, from what I gathered, you know, other other talks could have been behind my back. Everybody could have been sugarcoating me to, you know, take so I wouldn't, you know, get into a defensive, you know, strategy. But um, from what I gathered um, from my time there and leading, you know, even when we were leaving the immunity challenge, because we talked about it prior to going if we were to go to, if we were to lose the immunity challenge and we were going to tribal, who was it going to be? 
and uh, Nick was first on the chopping block. Mm. And what was it about Nick? Why did you guys want to target him first? Um, his 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 help around camp wasn't where it needed to be. Um, you, you know, we're mm. we're we're in we're in the elements. We got cyclones rearing upon us. Um, and he's you know taking a walk down to the beach. He's um staring up at the sky. He's uh folding his clothes. You know, stuff that doesn't need to be done, and it didn't help around camp. And everybody noticed it. You know, um. You know, we had everybody all hands on deck, whether people are cutting coconuts and keeping us hydrated um, or cutting coconut out to give us a little snack in our bellies. And here's Nick just wandering around aimlessly, you know, taking tools, you know, taking a machete and taking it over there and using it for something that we didn't need that that tool to be used for at that time. So, you Mm -hmm. know, the consensus was that, you know, he was just being a lazy bones around the around the around the uh, shelter building situation. And, you know, that wasn't going over with everybody, you know. Um, ultimately, mm-hmm. we had to build a shelter that would house 10 people. And at that time when, you know, you're not contributing, we're going to be more reluctant to build a shelter that's house, that houses nine. <laughs> it was interesting watching the two different tribes in, in the first few days. Like your guys' tribe, the Davids, were really focused on the shelter and the survival aspect. The other tribe, the Goliaths, almost like free-for-all going to search for this hidden immunity idol. Uh, was there any idol searching going on with you guys or, or, or not really? Um, not, not as blatantly as the Goliaths were. You know, they hit the beach and first, you know, before they even discussed shelter, they were out, you know, foraging for, for clues and idols. Um, mm. I don't know how much idol was, uh, idol searching was going on with everybody else, you know, because I was pretty much um, focused on getting a, house, getting a roof over our head. Um, yeah. It, it doesn't go without saying that, you know, I wasn't looking because I was. Um, I, I just, you know, I'm pretty observant. So um, even in, in a new environment, if something looks out of place, I look. You know, just because I'm not physically down on the ground digging or climbing into a tree looking, when, I, when I'm – walking and grabbing another piece of bamboo, I'm looking, you know, I'm looking to see what may have, what may have been turned over or what doesn't look right. Um, is this rock, why, why is this rock here? And there's no other rocks around it, but this big boulder is here, you know, being observant and taking everything in. Um, I might've not, like I said, I might've not necessarily been, um, on my hands and knees rummaging through the forest looking for idols, but I was looking for idols the whole time. Mm. What kind of a, a survivor fan were you before this? Were you like one of the super fans or just a casual viewer? <laughs> um, it, it depends on how you want to, you know, um, classify yourself as a super fan. Um, I, th- I, I consider myself a super fan. I'm not a super fan as to where – I was in all the blogs, reading all the blogs on all the past seasons, because up until this, I really, I, I had no social media. So I had a flip phone. You know, I didn't even have a smartphone. <laughs> so right. um, I, it's not like I was in all the chat forums, you know, on Reddit and THR and listened to all the podcasts. I wasn't that super fan. But I made sure that when it came Wednesday at 8 o'clock, my ass was on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> And overall, you know, the the experience was very dramatic for you. But you you want to do it again, right? You want to go back and and try your luck. One Absolutely, more time? I I would pack my bags tomorrow. I I wouldn't even take a bag. I don't I don't need clothes. I just need the opportunity <laughs> to get back on the island. <laughs> you know, because um, I I wanted to play this game for so long, and to have it stripped away by um, means other than myself or even my my fellow castaways you know it's not like i was mm-hmm. voted out you know um right it, it just happened it, it, it's, a, it's a freak accident that happened and unfortunately it stripped me of my of of my chance to win a million dollars um i don't blame anybody for it other than mother nature um but hopefully um the fans and production and jeff and everybody else they 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 give me an opportunity to uh to uh, put another chapter in my story. Hmm. Well, in the last moment here, can you 
tell us who you are personally rooting for to win the million dollars. <laughs> um, as much as I hate to say it, um, uh, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta. I think Allison's gonna be a strong contender. Um, she's a fighter, you know. Um, but I would really like to see somebody like Carl, you know, somebody that's kind of in the same lifestyle as mine, you know, busted his hump every day to uh, get where he is in life. Um, but I, I just because. He is a, a physical threat in the game. I don't know how well he's going to do, but he would be mm. the guy that I root for. Um, but I, ultimately, um, I don't know for sure who he's. I don't know who's standing at the end. So, um, but I got a, I got a, I got a feeling that uh, Allison is probably going to be in the running. She's, she's very smart. She's very um, witty, and uh, she's a super fan. So she knows, she knows how the game's played. You know, she's very smart. She's athletic. So she'll have a help. She, she she should do if she makes it to the to the merge. She should do pretty good. Who who would I want to win a million dollars? I would love to see Carl stand at the end and win a million dollars. 